Unicorn Circuit. How you doing, you mad dogs? Welcome to another episode of the Unicorn Circuit, your weekly dose of car news. Uh, is that even legal? Banking. My crap car. Conspiracy. Tinfoil hat. Fank of the week. Fanking. My fank. Your fank. Your crap fank. Random eat fank. Tom Fanks is here with us today. No, he's not. Uh, but he's not. We've got special guests. They're secret. So secret that you probably saw them in the thumbnail, which is why uh, you're watching. Uh, that's right. We've got a couple of the dudes from Donut who are coming down to visit us today as well. They're going to be on the show. They're in Australia. Um, They're not from Australia, in case you're wondering. They're we from are. the United States of America. That's right. And there's lots also of things to the United Southern Canada. The, the USA has a lot of people, hundreds of millions of people in it. And these particular dudes to be exact. are the donuts of all donuts. We have got for you also, you can never say we don't care, free stuff right. for everyone. Mm -hmm. You, you, yeah. you, yep. you, there's no one there. Unicorn, I'm just pointing. Unicorn you, viewers. You, you. There's no secret. Unicorn, unicorn viewers get hooked up more than anyone else. Yeah, you do. we've got fully um, hooked up. Spend $50 on the Mighty Car Mod Shop, which helps support us and the other show we make. You will get a free gift. Your gift may very likely be worth more than the thing that you bought. Could be. We have got uh, Tool Pro Tool Kits uh, from Super Cheap Auto. We have got Ryobi Drills from Ryobi. We've got a bunch of Quadlock stuff from Quadlock, all sponsors from the show. And Quadlock have made a new little thing. I'm sorry just to jump to this right now, but it's very cool. I'm doing an unboxing. Quadlock have made... Quadlock are these cases that we have on our phone. They also make cool things that go in your car and on bikes and things like that. And they have released a quad lock selfie extendable stick it's, it's and good. tripod. It's good. Uh, which uh, Properly I'm useful. about to see for the first time and show you for the first time. Check this out. Hey, this is exciting. Quad lock, who is a sponsor of Mighty Car Mods, have released the tripod selfie stick. I've not seen this yet, um, but it's obviously going to hold the phones really small. Secure hinge, stable legs using portrait or landscape. And it uses the dual stage lock and compatible with quad lock cases which is what I've got on my phone. Let's see what's in the box. Hopefully, there's a tripod selfie stick in there because that's what it says should be in the box. Look at this. That is cool. Look at it go. That's awesome. Put them out, put them out. Put... It's actually really big for how small the case is. It's huge. And phone, just like that. Oh, I'm selfie sticking and I'm, that's actually really cool. Um, thank you for sending me that quad lock. That's rad. And thank you for sponsoring our show. Freaking so awesome. Good. Uh, so so good. thank you very much. So they you also make one a, of those. They also make a battery pack that clicks onto the back of your phone. That's one of so the things one they of the, might get. Not one of the dangly thing. You know when you end up with a dangly thing like that? Oh. Like my mic died and so you get the dangle dangle. Not in this case. You just no. get it and you click it on the back. It's mad. Um, so you might get something. Actually, it's not might. You will get something mad. You also might get some Mighty Car Mods merch. You might get some stickers. Some you swag. might get... Who knows? It's rad swag. Right now, please take a moment because it helps us massively. Pause the video. Click on the thing. Go and get yourself something. Uh, you don't have to do anything. Just add the stuff to your cart and it will say a mystery item has been added and you will end up with something. Every Everyone's a winner. single item on the Mighty Car Mod Shop has been dreamed up by us. And someone will get a fat mat as well. Fat mat. One of That's my favourite things. One of my favourite things that we have on there. This. What is it? It's a giant mouse mat. What can you do with it? Heaps of stuff. Yep. The, the amount of things that we've seen people send photos and go, oh, I actually use my fat mat for this. I build guitars Ew. on my fat mat. I pull engines apart on my fat mat. I've got a drum or, kit set, set up with my go. fat mat. Or I've got a sick computer set up with all my stuff on it and it keeps it all nice and tidy and soft. I, I just think they're freaking bellissimo. So maybe add one of them to your cart. And then who knows what you're going to get for freebies. Mm. Uh, let's just dive right into it. We've got a special edition news this episode. We We're talking Mighty Car Mods news. We are. On this episode of Unicorn Circuit News, we are talking Brumbies. Why are we talking Brumbies? Well, we are Brumby. talking brats. Now, apparently, a Brumby and a brat are the same thing. They are. They are the same thing. They are, and actually, unless you're from America and then they're different, which is where they call them a brat. They are slightly different, but they're essentially the same car. Here's the thing. Should we call it a Brumby because they're called a Brumby in Australia or could sh should we call it a brat? More people Like the YouTube know comments it as a brat. have said, because more people know it as a brat. It says Brumby on it, but what do you do, Mark? We just ended up putting brat in brackets, and one of the reasons was um, because the brat, it's actually more brat than Brumby in some ways, because the brat was actually envisaged 
by Subaru America back in the 70s to fill a hole in the market, which was they really wanted these small mini El Camino we look in Utes, right? Yes. Oh, sorry, mini trucks, whatever you whatever they call them over there. And there was this massive hole in the market, they wanted a Subaru, and Japan said, okay, and made it. Never sold in Japan. But they did sell them in Australia, and guess what? Absolute massive hit. They were also called in the UK, they were called a Check the comments no, for like that a, one. What is it called? Someone in the UK tell us. It's a getter or a swifter or a carrier. I know I'm close to the word. I just cannot remember what it is. Anyway, they're called a Brumby here. What's a Brumby? It's like a horse, isn't it? Mun, did... Let's, let's get a couple of facts out first. How long did it take to do it? It's been six or seven months. Easily. Some people were like, whoa, you did it all in a week. No, the videos came out. As we kind of were starting filming this six months ago, five, four, three, two, one month ago, at the same time we were making all of the other Every videos that other you've video. seen on the channel. Including and this. And all the exceptional videos on this well, channel. Also the weekly uni uh, Unicorn Circuit. Episodes um, that are coming every, out single, every week single week without fail. Um, but there has been, Martin, some contention, some conjecture, some semantics. We thought that we had restored and modified this car. Oh, this is... You want to go down this road? No. Did we restore um, it and modify it? I think we did. I think we restored it and we modified it. Yes, but apparently it's not a restoration and it's modification, not. it's a resto mod. And a resto mod is different to restoring and modifying. I just found that out. Yeah. I didn't know that. I got told by someone I on the internet. Other things to do. Someone on the internet who restores cars told me that we did not restore the Brumby. Okay. What we did was a resto mod. Yes. Maybe that's accurate, but, but I would you also to... argue that you've got to restore it as part of the modification process. Yeah. Or vice versa. And, and I mean, we're talking about a Brumby here, so we're not talking about, like, you know, one of one car ever made should be restored. Like, w you're talking about Brumbies. There's a lot of them, and you can make them, in my, opin in my opinion, much better by changing some of those driveline bits. Yes. Which is what we attempted to do, to make it as good as we possibly could. I'm really proud how it's turned out, actually. Um, it's been heaps of work. It's not perfect. There's still little things we're fixing up, trying to, you know, just make sure that they're absolutely right. You know, the bolt there is the wrong colour. We're trying to make it all the same, like all those kind of things. It's absolutely pushing. It's never going to be perfect, but it's going to be great. Yeah. Isn't it? Also, it's going to be as good as it possibly we can be. We have got two, you count them, people, two big builds coming at your eyeballs. Another one's hitting your eyeballs this week. New car, new build, new mods, absolutely huge. Um, yep. Plus, um, are, are we allowed to talk about the commercial yet? Uh, yeah, we, that, are. Uh, we are. We are? Yeah, we are, because um, as, of, as of right now, you're allowed to talk about it. Oh, am I? Yep. Okay, so we were also involved uh, in a TV campaign for Super Cheap Auto, uh, where we were dressed up as a couple of young gentlemen. Here's a quick little look. Hey everybody, it's Marty and Moog here from Mighty Car Mods. That's right, and we're on set for Super Cheap Auto Retirement Rampage. So tighten up your adult nappies, there's about to be an explosion downstairs. <laughs> no way they're using that. <laughs> there That's it right. is. Uh, so for those that are in, um, you know, the, the territories around here, keep your eyeballs on your TV. For everyone else, keep your eyeballs on the internet. Uh, we built a car for that campaign. You'll be seeing that very soon. I think that's the news. That is the news. Is that it? That's the two big things. There's, act there's, there's another big one that's coming up as well. just want to say... No. We we're not going to talk about that. No. Here's what we are going to talk Man, about, Man, I'm so excited about that one. I have to cut you off with this. I'm How so excited you? about You're that one. you mad dog. What about that mad car? Shazza and Wayno are heading down to the Ari. Now, give me a beer and shut up before I drop a massive skid in the Commodore, ya dog. A couple of weeks ago, we asked you lot to try and do your best Australian accents and you sent in some cracker videos. This week, we're mixing it up. Is this part of the news? No. Do we care? No. No. Nope. I've got a phrase for you. The phrase is in the description below. We want you to read this phrase... Naturally. ...in your accent. Yes. Like, if you're Scottish, you would go... No, don't. Bonjour. No, don't. <laughs> I do it. If you were from China, no, no, no. you would go bellissimo. No, it, let's go Scottish. How, how are you, my dog? I mean, <laughs> sorry, I'm not trying to be. How are you, my dog? No, that's in, that's UK. No, that's that, okay. Shazza and Wayno. Okay, so, no, this is right. It might be. No, no. Are you sure? Yes. So this we is need the to line. Ask it's people below who again. Actually... This is this is the line. Oh, you don't need to do this. How are ya, you mad dog? No, that's okay. Shazza and Wayno are heading down to the Ari. Now give me a beer and shut up before I drop <laughs> a massive skid in the Commodore, ya dog. Uh, <laughs> that that is oh down my below. Goodness. Please. 
Film yourself. I want Indian accents. I want Malaysian. I want Chinese, American. Everything. I want to hear from every Everyone. country. Just say I it want like to hear an reading. Antarctic accent. Name it. Do you reckon when that? Should be it. That's a seal. Do you reckon when that Alan Turing Higgs boson guy invented the internet, he could have ever predicted in 1994 when he's bing 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 doing like on the internet that we would be wasting his bits and pieces on this rubbish. It's not a waste. Check no, the it's actually. This is the best this part is of the internet. I'm actually. Our fascinated. little corner of the internet is clean. It's good. I'm fascinated. It's a to little. Hear. Uh, anyway, that's the car news. That's Martin. a good point. People are wasting way more of the internet showing off their. Yeah. Um, reading that book about how YouTube started, I liked how they said, "If there's any part of you that a thumb can fit in, that's not your mouth, <laughs> then we don't want to show it." Martin, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get my computer and throw it over there, and then you're going to move your chair over. Like that way. And we're going we're gonna to reframe oh, yeah. and invite the guests in. Uh, let's bring in our special guests. <laughs> Every week on the Unicorn Circuit, we bring in interesting and entertaining guests from all Every over week. the world. Every, Every week. single week. This week is no exception, everybody. We've got Jeremiah and Zach from Donut. Hello. Hey, boys. Hey, hey boys. How are hey. you doing? Hey. Welcome to Australia. Thanks for having us. What have you learned about Australia so far that has surprised, shocked, or entertained you the most? Uh, a lot less youths than we were expecting. Yeah. And, you know, I've only seen, like, two kangaroos, and they were really far away. You so. saw, where did you see the kangaroos? Uh, when we were driving out to the Wadigans with the four-wheel drive. Oh, guys. yes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You but saw kangaroos? But they were real far saw, away. Yeah, we saw they some kangaroos. They were, like, this big. Yeah. Okay. By a lake. Haven't seen a koala yet, either. Okay. You, you probably won't see that. You know, uh, koalas are all drunk. And they all have chlamydia here. They they do have chlamydia, so not a whole lot of difference between a koala and a backpacker. (laughs) Um, All right, boys, let's talk the YouTubers and let's talk some cars. Um, Donut's been around since 2016. Mm -hmm. Um, How did it start? When did you come on board? What happened? Tell us the thing. This is not sponsored content, by the way. I'm just trying to fill in the mums and dads that might not know that in the world there's a few good car YouTube channels and a whole lot that are rubbish. (laughs) And so we're just just painting the picture for you. Yeah, so a long, long time ago when Donut first started, it was mostly like an automotive production house. They'd make commercials for, you know, automotive brands and stuff. And uh, in some downtime, they decided to start making YouTube uh, content and that kind of took off. And then that's kind of where we entered the picture about four, just over four years ago, four and a half years ago about now. So how did you guys start? Like, how did you, like, what what happened? You already lived in LA, you you flew into, like, like, you auditioned? Like, what do you do? Yeah, kind of. So I didn't live in LA, I lived in Ohio. I worked at a place called ECS Tuning. We make... uh, As as in, like, European car training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I worked there for, like, six years. Yeah, Yeah, okay. So uh, me and my boys there, I worked in the research and development department, uh, overseeing a lot of the install work, and then kind of transitioned into making a lot of the media content. So doing a lot of videos. And, and just doing all sorts of stuff related to making parts and putting them out there to the world. Uh, and so me and my boys that I worked with, we would, on our lunch break, watch YouTube sometimes. Yep. And I uh, would watch Donut, and uh, I followed him on Instagram, and, you know, a few Did months down Did you ever road, watch Mighty Car Mods? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was, Do you remember that was what one... you saw? Do you remember? Oh, God. Back that's in like the day? Seven, were we six, urinating on a car? <laughs> I were don't we turboing something? That was news to me. I don't think I've seen that one. I'm going to have to go back and, and check the, uh, the pee rust. But I do love that as a premise. But, yeah, so we would just throw up all the, you know, Mighty Car Mods. Uh, you know, Donut was one of the channels that we would watch. Yeah, and so I followed all that stuff on Instagram. And a few months down the road, uh, Donut just posted that they were looking for a new host. And the prerequisites oh, were yeah. like, yeah, it was just an Instagram post. And it was like, are you, you have to know a lot about cars, be comfortable on camera, and live in Los Angeles. Okay. And I was like, well, I got two out of the three. Mm. So, you know, because I was doing content at ECS at the time, so I'd gotten yeah. comfortable on camera and stuff. So Did you have I, to send, like, an audition reel? Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, and I made hey it guys, my studio I'm at Zach, ECS. How are you? Yeah. And, and then, like, quickly And they sent a script, and I yeah. had to, like, read it, and it was it was crazy. I did it at the studio at ECS, which I don't wow. know anybody knows. But, um, Hello to your <laughs> old boss. Sorry, <laughs> But, yeah, so. You know, one thing led to another, another and then, yeah, I moved yeah. out to Los gig. Angeles, yeah. Mm-hmm. Amazing. What about you? Kind of a, the, a similar story. I actually already lived in L.A. I was working, I was a biomedical engineer before. I was working in a lab in Los Angeles. I had moved out to L.A. because I wanted to do, funny enough, be a comedian. And so I was yeah. doing, like, a lot of comedy, a lot of stand-up. And um, I uh, a lot of the guys at Donut are also comedians. So... Um, if we're goofy, it's kind of by design. We're all yeah. just kind of goofy guys anyways. And, uh, yeah, I saw the same post on Instagram that Job saw. 
and applied and also went in, uh, did a submission tape. You didn't have to go in, I don't think, and do a live audition. No. But because I was in LA, yeah. I um, went into a casting studio. Yeah, I got and, to really curate mine. Yeah, <laughs> so I had, I had to do it live in front of all the boys. And then, yeah, they hired me. Uh, Wait, yeah, so they're that. sitting in a room. Yeah. And they're like, go. Do yeah. YouTube do you, Yeah, well, so, like, uh, so in LA, well, in any commercial kind of world, when you're an actor, you go in and they give you copy to either read or memorize, yeah. and then you do it in front of a camera, and then you also do it in front of, you know, five, six, maybe sometimes 10 people. Yeah. Uh, it's very awkward. It's really weird. And so it was, James was there, Jesse, our creative director at the time, Matt, the CEO, and Josh, who was a production head. And so it was those four guys, a camera, me and a, and I just read a uh, a bumper to bumper script. Like, yeah. Uh, oh, what was it on? Do you remember? Uh, I, I think it was a Holden. Was a, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. really? Yeah, it was yeah. a Holden SS. Full circle. Yeah. 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 So that's the career stuff. So what about the car stuff? Where did the car stuff start for you? Uh, as a little kid, I just thought they were really cool. My dad was into Audis big time oh, yeah. and uh, had a, a ser like a couple different B5s while I was growing up. Oh, yeah. uh, 1.8Ts and would take me to like, he had a little car club. He didn't do a blower valve mod, did he? No, he, he didn't. Just, like, <laughs> no, I can't fucking, uh, no, that no wasn't he didn't. Him. He probably had one <laughs> fail on him at some point. But, uh, <laughs> but so he would just take me to uh, his like uh, car meets and stuff and I'd be rolling around a little scooter and uh, I remember seeing my first like uh, Imola yellow uh, B5 S4 uh, and yes. I remember it said by turbo and I was like what the yeah. hell is that? Yeah there's two of them! <laughs> yeah. yes. And so you're biomedical engineer but you yeah. also know heaps about cars. Yeah well I was mechanical engineer first and oh, went okay. to graduate school for biomedical engineering. Yep. I, I really wanted to be a doctor and then I found out you gotta be pretty smart for that. <laughs> 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 so I, I kind of uh, was not like. not a whole lot of room for comedy. There. Yeah yeah the <laughs> patients don't like jokes. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I uh, um, yeah, I kind of like went off that path, but I still love like engineering and mechanics and cool. you know, my dad got me a, uh, I'm a motorcycle guy, I love motorcycles. So I got into bikes, you know, first because they were more accessible mm. and I was a little wild child. So I, you know, raced dirt bikes from a little kid all the way up until I got too old and uh, learned how to work on cars that way yeah. by learning how to, you know, I learned how to work on motorcycles, which translated to cars. It's such a good gateway, isn't it? I think right. we hear from a lot of people and they kind of go, how do I start? And a car, like a car does feel really intense intimidating there's like so many bits whereas a motorbike it's a bit more that you can see everything yeah. you can see how really functions and so yeah I, I, kind of, I really enjoy working on motorbikes like yeah. that as and it's well. cheaper if you mess up you know like yeah. uh, one of my first bikes was a TTR 125 they were awesome I took yeah. the engine apart you know and I I made a ton of mistakes and when you make mistakes you break stuff and break parts and like you learn lessons about you know like stuck bolts and uh yes. you know like yeah. install timing a, a yeah. bike wrong the things and, that matter right yeah, the yeah. things that matter so when it goes kaboom <laughs> at least it's cheaper yeah. you know and so I uh, remember with our posty bike we were trying to like rebuild the carby on it mm -hmm. and I think I just made a disaster of that so I just bought the whole carby assembly already done from uh, the internet it was 25 bucks yeah it's, you just buy it, it. it. Just buy the whole <laughs> thing. there's my one yeah. just put that one <laughs> is in. that how you got into cars as well kind of into um, bikes first? yeah I was like my dad was into cars so when I was young like we had um, in the early 80s a car called a Ford Fairlane LTD nice. and it was the first wow. car that had power windows that I was ever aware of and I remember going to school and saying I came to school in a car today and you press a button and the window goes up and down. This kid's like, bullshit, and then beat me up. Like, it's just like, this is too crazy. This is too crazy for me. And so, yeah, but no he, way. he no had an way. Alfa Romeo in the early 80s as well, which was wacky. He had a, like an MX-5 Miata, like just had different stuff. So nice. I kind of liked that. And my mum was yeah. into minis. And so oh, cool. yeah. between them, they were kind of into yeah. cool cars. And um, But I was kind of more into, I guess, like basic servicing and road trips. I organised um, different car events and drives and stuff, whereas Marty was like modifying um, remote control cars. Oh, nice. and, oh, cool. And now he just does that on a big scale, yeah. right? Yeah. Pretty yeah. Much. You started um, off in RC cars? Oh, so I still have them? Oh, you still, uh, yeah, yeah. No, sort yeah. of, just yeah. mess around with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah break yeah. them, drive, drive them in and stuff. <laughs> this, is the, this is something I was, I'm curious about. It's not often that you have, you ch especially in Australia, because there's not heaps and heaps of channels, that you have people in the same room <laughs> that are doing similar kind of stuff. Do you feel like there's been any big changes or trends or things that you guys are sort of seeing that's happening in the, the way that people are modifying cars on the internet? Mm, mm. They do uh, more silly things for clicks, I yeah. think. It's, yeah, it's, it's less like practical, uh, legit yeah. uh, things. You know, a lot okay. of the stuff that pops up, at least mm -hmm. on like TikTok, yeah. you know, it's like, it's for the like, right. it's, it's, 
we have a whole channel <laughs> based on it. Go so on, we can give watch it a, it. Go on, give it a, give it a spin. <laughs> on, real yeah, mechanics Real mechanics stuff, where yeah. we just react to kind of silly things. So I yeah. think like... Uh, we've appeared on that, by the way. Yeah, yeah. you guys it. If it's out, it'll be linked below. If it's not, uh, you'll see it soon. But yeah. So I see a lot of... And maybe that's always been the case. Yeah. It's just yeah. people Take are now, out. you know... Right. I mean, that's sort of like out. SEMA mentality as well, right? Mm -hmm. Build some crazy shit. It doesn't even really matter if it works. Right. Yeah. It's Yeah, it's just to garner attention and hope... Whether it's selling t-shirts shirts or parts or whatever it is that seems to be sort of the undercurrent of a lot of a lot of what's maybe going in on. some ways might it hasn't changed that much because in 2010 when we did the auto salon tour the car that won auto salon which was a big car show we had at the time it hadn't been started till like the fifth city in and it won so. every city leading yeah. up to that point you know yep. so it's yep. like i think now though we're just kind of in this space that everybody is so desperate for attention they're willing to put 30 spaces on the back yeah, of their yeah. 350z right yeah. just yeah. But, but i don't understand really what they get from it because you can't monetize yeah. a single post. Right. I, I think, think it's very short-term yeah. instant gratification yeah. stuff. And that's why I think, you know, like, the stuff that we do kind of uh, goes beyond that. You know, you really get a, a good following and people that respect you and you, you know, take the time to try to do stuff a little more correctly with, you know, a good blend Yeah, of not to say we don't make mistakes. Yeah, we totally do. You didn't make a mistake yeah. when you cut that fender. No, uh, no. I mean, that no, bumper. It was you straight. The, one the yeah. ruler was wrong. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah, but at least like the the end goal is to at least provide some entertainment and information to people yeah. who want to do it right, yeah. you know, and like yeah, because while there are people that are willing to click on crazy stuff, there's also a lot of people out there that want to learn how to work on cars. Yeah, and, yeah. 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 and, and we, that's really what YouTube is about. You know, you can learn how to do anything on there. So, and we've been we've fell uh, uh, to the <laughs> the YouTube lore, or gods to be like, oh, I wonder if this would be yeah. uh, clickable. You know, we put blood in an engine. Like, yeah. there's no practicality to that. Right. Yeah, and so like, that's something that we've definitely fallen to where you're, you're chasing like retention or you know yes. click through or whatever yeah. and you kind of forget and, uh, you you lose yeah. sight of like why we're doing this yeah. in the first place. people want a good story stats. though yeah. like like a good story is timeless you know yeah. like like why you're doing the thing yeah. you know in the first uh, place this yeah. is just Purely. Yeah. Yeah, and I think you always kind of circle back to that. Yeah, you yeah. Know? It's like, oh, you know what? We got to get back to our roots and, and do this legit, you know, so. Well, I reckon while you're here on the unicorn circuit, we're going to give you 10 quick fire questions. Uh, and the end, it's like a one, we, we don't know what they are yet. We're about to make this stuff up. Nice. Um, but I'll give one. Okay. And then you both give your answer. Okay. In this order. Okay. And then Marty will give you one and you give your answer in this order. Okay. And we're okay. just going to go to... You know, yeah. just a quick thing. Sure. Right? Okay. Got it. Hit us. Yeah. Pizza or pasta? Uh, pasta. Pizza. Yeah, good choice. Um, uh, 400 horsepower EK Civic or 400 horsepower MX-5 Miata? Uh, EK Civic. I got to go Miata. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love rear-wheel drive. Um, uh, Teslas in a sentence. Mm. A sentence. I was going for a word. <laughs> um, I know the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, impressive, but bland. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say cool, but boring. Cool, okay. but boring. Mm -hmm. All right, um, um, uh, turboed or supercharged? You've done both. Mm. You guys have done both. Mm. I've seen it. Mm. Turbo. Turbo. Mm -hmm. Good answer. Turbo. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't asked, but, but just in case anybody was wondering. Uh, if you were stuck on an island forever, mm -hmm. you could only eat three foods. They're ingredients, they're not meals. You can't say nachos because that's got sure. lots of stuff in it. Mm -hmm. Three ingredients, it's all you can eat, yeah. but there's also five seconds. And if I get to zero, you okay. miss out on any choice you haven't made yet. Okay. What are the three ingredients that you would be eating for the rest of your life? Uh, watermelon. Uh, Good choice. Uh, uh, and you're done. Uh, no, no, that's it. You're just eating watermelon forever. That's, that's, that's fine. I almost said watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. Okay, so fine. that's that's uh, you're gonna be fit as. Yeah. So yeah. all right, and uh, Jeremiah. Yeah, bread, butter, uh, kiwi. <laughs> kiwi fruit. I can't believe you didn't say yeah. watermelon. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get kiwi. kiwi fruits in America? Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, is that a dumb question? No, no. It's not Do you dumb. have electricity in Australia? <laughs> uh, you get them over there? Yeah. Yeah. Kiwi's like that's, one of my favorite fruits. Yeah. Watermelon, watermelon and kiwi are my top two faves. Yeah. yeah well, Big you could move guy. onto his island, but <laughs> yeah. you know he's got a little bit more off, more off. And Marty, what He's do you got, got moldy bread. What, are you? <laughs> what What countries do you want to go on shooting that you haven't yet? Uh, uh, Did you just stick to Australia? Yeah, Japan, Germany, yeah. Uh, Switzerland. I mean, all of Europe, really. Sure. Uh, we've done some stuff in South America, but we haven't even done Mexico. Yeah. Love to do Mexico. Uh, yeah, all of them, Thanks. really. But cool. yeah. yeah, and this is something we talk about often, so that's my same answer as well. Japan is really far up there. I yeah, went right. there recently, but didn't film. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd love to go to Tokyo Auto Salon and, and just, just film car culture in Japan. Sweet. Awesome. If anybody's watching at home, 
They want to start working on their car. They don't know what to do. They don't know where to start. They've got no tools. They, they've got nothing going on, but they want to. What would your advice to them be? You get a sentence. One word's going to be tough. Poke around on the internet. Yeah, I mean, get on YouTube. Uh, you can learn anything. And, yeah. and that's, uh, that's kind of how we got in, yeah. into doing a lot of stuff, too. So. I, I would say um, if you, I was fortunate that I got to work for a, a motorcycle shop. I was a young kid. I was, like, 15. And I just asked, like, hey, can I come here and work and learn and the guy said yes so I was fortunate in that so ask a local guy he yeah. might be willing to let you learn yeah. some stuff from him don't Excellent. be scared to break stuff you know <laughs> that's a good one all right Martin how long do you reckon before you're not going to be able to buy gasoline anymore mm. predictions never mm. now you're going to nah. hang around no nah, I don't hang around it's yeah. hang around. Yeah. depends on where you're talking about but I'd say like in the states uh, 2050 because you're in California, so it's yeah. like mm -hmm. yeah. with the environmental stuff. Yeah, stuff. and I actually went and checked out uh, Porsche's uh, synthetic fuel facility oh, yeah. in Chile. So that is kind of promising. I Humble hope. brag. Uh, it's just that Porsche's uh, <laughs> special facility in Chile. You weren't, yeah. but I was. So yeah, I just video, you can check it out. But <laughs> seriously, I mean, that gives me hope that, you know, yeah. even when gasoline goes away, that we'll still be able to make some noise with some uh, nice. ice engines. Do you, so. What do you guys think? Now I'm curious. Yeah. Uh, I, I reckon in Australia about... it's going to go. Uh, really? I actually think it's going to go, and I think it's going to go sooner than everyone realises. I'm not going to put a year on it, but I reckon yeah. it's happening. I think it's already begun, uh, and I think the reason that we're seeing that is we're seeing way more kind of prospective laws and tax coming in on how people are going to tax electric cars and oh. solar and all these things. Yeah. We used to get solar on the roof of your house, and anything you didn't use would get sent back to the grid, and you'd get yeah. like 60 cents per unit of whatever. That's come down and down and down and down and down, less and less and less, but what we're seeing is the potential tax on electric cars going up, so to me what that says is uh, we're about to smash out with electric tax, which yeah. means they're worried about not getting petrol tax anymore. Mm. That's why I reckon. Mm. Mm. Martin's that more sense. in this world than I am because yeah, no, he's into it. Yeah. Um, you get now, you get one question each to each of us. It doesn't matter how intense, insane or intimate it is. Mm -hmm. I will answer it completely and utterly honestly. Mm -hmm. What's your favourite project car that you've done on the channel? I'm going to say... See, one of my favourite cars is my Mini that I did with a sure. B16 yep. in. Yeah, which but is this is going to sound cool emo. Man. And I was with my friend Miles who did that. But Marty wasn't around heaps for that build. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to say that my best holiday is the one that Marty wasn't there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, sure. um, I, was but, I was there a bit. You guys but, was but, but, but he, he was there a bit. But he wasn't there all the time. Yeah. So I'm actually going to say very sweet. the very first, this is cheesy as, the very first episode of Mighty Car Mods, episode one, yeah. No monetization on YouTube, no influencing, no yeah. brands, Just little red Daihatsu. Um, Marty knew way more about cars than me and still does. I'm like, can you please help me make my car better? And I've got a camera and I'll film it. That there blossomed this thing yeah. and now we get to hang out with you and meet these people. So That's I'm going to say that. That's so very Martin, good answer. you now have to answer completely honestly also. Um, yep, completely honestly. The favourite one we've ever done is a film that's called Key to the City. And it was actually happened partly by accident. So we knew a short version. We knew a car dealer via a friend who was in Japan. We'd yeah. already been there once before and we sort of checked out the culture and seen some drifting and stuff. And, he, and then we said, we'd love just to get our own little K car, right? And yeah. experience it. And he goes, well, my car leader guy's got like some scrap out the back. We're going to need a couple of hundred Scrapu, bucks. He called it. He called it Scrapu. <laughs> and we got there and there's this little like Daihatsu just sitting behind the, the, the workshop and we got it started. 300 bucks. We took it to this little um, this uh, little workshop run by a couple of mates out in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And then we like chopped the springs and just did whatever mods we could and then took it to a drift event and then drifted and it under a rainbow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh and we, my God, we, we'd awesome. actually been there to try and film some other stuff that we tried to happen and for whatever reason it sort of didn't work out. And we're like, oh, well, while we're here, well, let's try and do this. And we yeah. did two days. And it's like, it's got millions of views. People love it. And it's just that experience. It was probably 10 years ago, but that experience was awesome. And I've still got the car. Yeah, that's oh, great. Great. And we're working full time, so what we do is we do our jobs on Friday. We get an overnight flight to Japan Friday night, Ooh. film oh. Saturday, Sunday, get overnight flight back to be back for work. So we were shooting wow. Wow. When, when it's like Money Mods went to yeah. Japan again. And at that point, it was $350 a flight. Buy one, get one free. They had a promo, so <laughs> no we food, went for the weekend. No food, so we got a pizza in the, in the airport. We carried the pizza on the plane. Everyone's jealous because they're like eating pain slop and whatever this pizza. Yeah. Right. Never forget it. That's great. Um, Those are two solid answers. Those are two great yeah. Have you got a favorite? Oh, uh, uh, it's, it's, oh, sorry, you get, you get your question now, the, your, your honesty question. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll make question. it shorter. You can ask us anything, full um, honesty. Yeah, okay. If, um, if you guys had to do this all over again, what would you do differently? Oh, that's, that's, a, oh, that's, that's a, a really one. tricky one. Uh, do you know, here, here's what I would do. Potentially at the start, we had some brands come along and they would say, 
do this and we've got a bit of funding for you, do this, do this, and we yeah. would talk about it and we'd say, you know, like anyone, should we do it, should we not do it? Eventually we sat down and we just went, if we don't use the product, there's no use actually working with them going, oh, here's Johnny's special high octane something. Sure. And so it's, it was probably a year or two into it that people started asking us those questions. Probably, I wouldn't actually change anything, but what I would say is at the very beginning, if I had a little dream, so I'm going to go, when brands come along and they go, we want you to do something that's not your thing, just say no. Yeah. Don't even have a conversation, yeah. just say no. Yeah. You're going to miss out on some income, uh, like initially, sure. but 16 years later, you'll still be going and yeah. hopefully people are into it. Yeah. So, that's yeah. you, Marty? Uh, that, that, that's pretty much the same answer, but I'm curious yeah. to know, have you got a favourite episode or car that you've done that we can also link so people can have a look? Yeah, I mean, I've got to go with the Miata. Uh, I did like 60 episodes, uh, 60, mostly from my garage. Six zero. I yeah. remember, I've seen yeah. it. Yeah. I've seen yeah. Yeah. Was mostly. that during COVID? Yeah. Yes, yeah. okay. So it, it actually, it, it kind of worked out well in a way you know given all the all the things going on with covid but uh you know we started the show and then the the next week covid hit yeah, and no, uh, wow. so we were doing it out of my garage and uh you know there's a, a lot of people at home stuck in their yeah. garages too so we watched some of that series yeah. and so uh, we spoke you know we're speaking before we hardly watch any youtube i yeah, know you guys same. are the same we don't yeah. actually watch a lot and so i'm not up to yeah. like up. i'm not up with what you guys are doing yeah. and probably vice versa but we watched some of that series and I recently watched your race, like joining a race team yeah, and driving yeah, really fast because I didn't know you drove fast. And so, yeah. but that's some of that and that are the only donut videos I reckon I've seen in years. Yeah. You know, and so those those ones stood out though. Yeah. They're really yeah. good and really yeah. well done. So that's got a special place. In yeah, my I see. I, when I was doing uh, during COVID, I did a different type of show that was a green screen show, and it was like the science and technical like engineering of, mm -hmm. of stuff. We did I think a hundred and two weeks straight wow. of that show, which was. Impo like thinking about that now is impossible. Yeah, that's so I, insane. So I didn't really get to get into like the high low and like actually working on cars until after COVID. And really, the first one was kind of the with the Subies. So we did high low with a uh, low Subie, and I got to help out a lot with both teams. But I think like those Subarus, um, I was kind of converted. They're they're like a love hate relationship, you know. Like uh, yeah. I love driving them. They're super fun to drive, but they're also a pain in the ass. So right, yeah. Uh, yeah, that low uh, WRX is a special place oh, in my cool. heart. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Good to yep. hear. Well, boys, thank you very much for coming all the yeah, way to Australia. Thank Thanks for being on yeah. the Unicorn circuit. Sure, sure, I don't sure, know if you sure, guys sure, even... Sure, did you, sure. you didn't go on the main channel. Just this one. Yeah. Is that right? Oh, no, I don't know. Is, is that, oh, there's... Oh, yeah, one. there's a... I don't know if yeah, they know about it yet, but... There's... That was meant to be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> they did, you guys didn't even appear on the main channel, did you? No. No, no, so. no they didn't. They didn't come to help with anything at all. That's freaking awesome. Anyway, there it is. Now we're going on to the next part of this show. Uh, which I don't know what it is, but the graphics will come up and they will tell you what it is. Every week on Is That Even Legal, we ask the question... Oh, is that even legal? That's right. Martin, do you like chicken? Uh, you don't no, really no do I don't really like chicken, but yeah, today I do. Ah, uh, good. Martin, do you love running wild down the street? Yes. Ah. Uh, <laughs> illegal in Georgia. That really messed with my head because I was waiting for the illegal and it I never know, happened. Because for the last 115 episodes, oh, I've that, done it. That, and that today, really, I messed you up. That really, dude. That really. Try that on someone. That really messed me up. Sorry. I was like, like the space time continuum stopped, and I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm I mean? Not, I'll heal you. Like Sorry. The, doing the full dolphin. Martin, on that do you one. like chickens? I'll make it right. Do you like chickens? Yes. Do you like running wild down the street? Yes. Stop it. Legal. In Georgia, you can't... Oh. If you're a chicken, you can't run down the street. <laughs> Out of control. <laughs> I, 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 I sorry. really didn't I'm like sorry. that. I'm sorry. Martin, I can't... I don't know. It's... F you know the holes? No, Lots no. of little holes? No, 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 don't even make me think about it. They're I can't called. do it. I get the prior. What's it called? Holophobia. Pariolia. Holophobia. Pariolia. Pariolis. No, pariolia. When you can't look at like poppy seeds. Anyway. Um, um, next up. It's, uh, it's time for the. Speaking of not being able to look at stuff, next up, tin foil well, hat. hat dog. <laughs> This week on Conspiracy Hat Cat, Tinfoil Hat Cat, we talk about the things that are conspiracies that we don't even know if they are. I don't know. But this... Martin, we're, right now, where are you all watching, people? YouTube. I don't mean on the toilet. I mean you're on the YouTube. 
So, some, lately, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've certainly noticed because <laughs> 16 years of Sorry. my... Six, <laughs> please? 16 Sorry, years. note to editor. I don't even want to go there. Blank what I just said and cover it in a goat. Because I don't want to ask that question. I don't want to ask it. Oh. I'm sick of it. Doesn't How many videos can you make asking... <laughs> Stop it! Okay. Stop it! I've spent a reasonable amount of time reading comments. Often, it's very joyful. On a Unicorn Circuit episode, I love the comments section. I love it. Absolutely so love it. It's hilarious. You guys are very funny. 39 of you have an excellent sense of humor. Particularly here, those of you that just went down and this said, I got my free item condensed, because I went to the shop. Condensed down version of, 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 of this, right? And, and it's, it's, so it's very entertaining. But over the years, comment section can be, and can be not fun. And a lot of people who are on YouTube have often complained about it, saying, yep. I don't like the way it's structured. I don't like the haters. I don't, I don't like, like this. The robot. That. Lately, it was spam. It was robots. It was people... Um, impersonating us and saying, oh, you know, you got a free item and then, you know, they rip off all their details. All this sort of bad stuff was happening. So something must have changed at YouTube. Of course, I don't tell anyone. But they did change something. And there was a little button that said increase strictness on comments. And basically the idea was to do experimental machine learning on filtering out bad comments. Now what's happened is the comments are overwhelmingly positive. On swung... videos that, and used to, I'm just going to add in, Videos that historically used to be contentious. When you do some Honda Civic video and everyone likes it, those videos are still comments. So, like, that's fine. Mm. You know, I like it. No, no. But videos that politically, socially, would normally be really contentious, I'm not seeing any contention in the comments this anymore. This is the comment equivalent of removing the dislike button, which happened as well, in case anyone had noticed. And before that, there was stars, right? You can yeah. give it a 3 out of 5, a 4 out of 5. For whatever reason, they took that away. So did iTunes with Apple and Apple Music, right? They got rid of that as well. So at the moment, it's overwhelmingly positive. Now, is this a bad thing? You could argue, well, not really, because, I mean, do we really need all the negativity in our lives? Does everyone need all the negativity and all the shit talk? And maybe there's been a lot of stuff that's nope. happened over the last couple of years or decade or whatever it's been that has actually just been a bit shit. And maybe it's time just to clear it out and go, you know what? We are going to float the positivity. If you can't say something nice, don't say it at all. And we'll do the version of that. You could also argue that people don't get to actually express themselves and maybe it gets rid of some of the nuance and some of the like, you know, uh, some of the interesting um, discourse that you can have in the comment yes. section. So I think what's actually happening is they've gone yes to all that and yes, maybe we disrupt the discourse, but we don't care. We just want people to shut up and just, you're gonna, we just, so if people say good stuff, we're gonna float it to the top. You're gonna see it more. Yep. If they talk rubbish and they're dickheads, guess what? They're gonna start getting rated down and people just aren't gonna see it anymore. And it's almost like that quiet like comment hiding type yep. thing that's, that's yep. sort of happening rather than but it's being done by robots because now more than ever YouTube and the robots and the robots all over with all the AIs know what you're talking about for a long time you put a video up they had no idea what you were saying they couldn't recognize it your Siri and your Amazon Alexa could Unless barely understand you're speaking what you were in an saying. Australian accent because when I go hey um, Siri play the latest song by Shakira it goes share sure, coming up it doesn't know Aussie accent and mm. sometimes which I don't like I actually have to say, play You're the Voice by John Farnham. And then it plays it. But if I say, play you don't dig a John Farnham, mate, let's go. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't work. Which is weird. No idea. Uh, anyway. Anyway, so the conspiracy so that, is that the robots are now floating positivity to try and spread positivity. Is it going to work? I hope so. Is it good? I actually don't know if it's good. But look, positive is good. Yeah. That's what the word Sometimes, means. Sometimes, though, it's positive relative to the... Subject matter, which is not positive. Like, I've got an idea. Let's ban dogs. Yeah. And then all the top comments, yeah, let's ban them. Ban the dogs. Bye-bye. Not K9, K-bye. Ban the dogs, you dog. Yep, ban the dogs. And in the past, you would have been saying, no, ban the cat, ban the pig, don't do this. I like canaries. But now what we're seeing is, whatever the video says, that's what the comments will say. It's just a change we've noticed. It's a change. Thanking. <laughs> Banking's the delightful art of recontextualizing a product's name by taking a photo of it down near your crotch. There's very defined rules. We just looked at them recently. Check we, the rules. We invented this, but we did check the rules. Um, no genitalia. <laughs> genitalia rhymes with Australia. <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> yep. I and you are, we yeah, are genitalia. genitalia. Um, all right, Martin, what have Speaking you got there? Of, there you go. A fire crotch. I would like... 
if that's a drink, a ginger cock. But why has this person got three hands? This hand up the top is not necessary. You've got a hand around the shaft, a hand around the tip, and what is that hand doing? That's shading the light. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. You ever notice that some people say yeah with M on the front of it? Yeah. No, I don't like it. No, I don't like Please it Please don't do it again. <laughs> uh, next up, we've got Ass Farm. Yeah. I mean, where else are you going to grow on? Yeah, on a farm. Yep. Yep. Good job, mate. Thanks yep. for sending that in. Cupping balls, party game. I like this. Thrust to win. Five, um, five euros? Five pounds. Five Martin, pounds. I just noticed, see his shoes? He's wearing high tops. I am in fashion again, apparently, with these um, Air Jordans. I was at the... <laughs> come on, man. What? I was at the airport the other day, cruising along just like a normal guy, because I am, wearing these. And then I looked around and noticed that everyone else was wearing them as well and that then they would have thought that I'm wearing them because I wanted to be cool. No, I've just been wearing these for... <laughs> look through the last five years. Look at them. But they're cool again. Remember, as they say, even a broken watch is right twice a day. And my fashion is right twice a decade. Twice a millennia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cupping balls party game. Thrust to win. And he's wearing Air Jordans or similar. Uh, right here, Martin, we've got... Now, the, I put this in because I don't know what this is. I do. Okay. It's a butt flat. It's obviously not real. It's a chew toy. Oh, is that what it butt is? Butt sniffing sniffs all day long. Butt flavour. Hey, do I know you? But, I mean, as if Smiths don't hate this. They wouldn't like, like that. Like, they would not like that. Uh, Martin, like allegedly... Mighty dogs... Dog... Butt. Mighty dog butt. Sorry. You know what word I hate? Spittle. It's worse when it's on you. Spittoon I'd rather you set it than put it on spittle. me. Martin, this is too big for us to talk about right now. The butt? To <laughs> tobacco industry. Oh, God. Is this no, a conspiracy no. hat category? So No, this is... So, tobacco industry in Australia, we had plain packaging. So, for a while, everyone's like, they're colourful packets. Now, let's put a gangrenous lung on it. Let's put a cancerous <laughs> mouth on it just so it's not like attractive to go around. So sales of those, like certainly in Australia, is going down. A lot of, allegedly... Or did, the technology, a lot of, or did better technology come and replace it? A better, more efficient way to not, get nicotine into your not what brain. I'm talking about. Vapes. Um, apparently, a number of individuals that worked within the tobacco industry moved to what industry, Martin? The food industry. Okay. Let's maximise money. Yeah. Let's maximise ill health. Yes. For our gain and profit. Yes. They only oh. exist to make profit. They don't make to feed you. You just to feed you. Mun, drum roll, please. <laughs> do you like this show? I do. Like, do you watch it out of pity? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you? Are you like, there's the special kids? No, I, I, I think I, I like it. I don't I care like if it. you like no, it. No, but I do, and I know why they like it. Do you? You know why? Why? Because it's us. like a cuddle from someone in a familiar hoodie. You know the hoodie. Oh, you you know that? the person. You know like the. You, you know what you're going to get. You know what I mean? You're not going to get more than the hoodie and the cuddle. Yeah. You're not going. You're just not. But you're not going to get less than the hoodie The show's the not great. No, it's not. But but it's two dickheads talking it's, shit. It's not shit, is it? Well, it's not shit. It's but not. it's talking shit, and that's. That's actually okay, and I'm come to terms with wasting this amount of internet, especially now I've thought about what other people are wasting internet on. We're not and white like, bread, we're multigrain with a little bit of peanut butter on it and a little slab. Multigrain? No, that's pushing it. I, I know, I just, that's the marketing in the No, it's, out. it's like the white bread that you can buy, except it's got like the extra protein, it which looks, is like rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, made by some tobacco form. <laughs> anyway, get on with your Mun, food uh, thing. Uh, 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 give me the drum they roll. Make the <laughs> All right. Fang of the week this week, need a cock. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? That's if you want to send us, it's very good. And it's uh, for Chrysler Honda Import, and it's a radio to cock. Um, if you would like to send us a fanking image, um, don't you send them to us. Put it can't. on the fanking group, and I will grab them. And I was going to pretend why. some assistant person grabs them. No, I Zach. grab them. This Talk show is as lo fi as it gets. Martin, I think that brings us near the end of the show. We've what got about a mailbag. Oh, we've you got a, no, we've got a mailbag. What food you thing? You talk about the food thing. What food you thing? You said they moved people from the tobacco industry, moved the industry, and then what did they do? That's it. That's the whole story. Oh, I thought you meant they were like selling you the chips for the same price, but they're eight grams lighter, and the next year they're four grams lighter, and then before you know it, you're eating 20 grams of chips that you used to pay for 100 grams for and pay more money and getting less of the thing. But the same size pack with more air in it because air's free. Yeah. 
Was that you were going to say? Uh, no, it wasn't about that. That's, that's, that's just supply and demand and money. What I'm saying is, is that there's potentially some people who do not care about your health that are trying to convince you and persuade you to eat things that they know are not good. Do you remember the big rant we had about that about 16 episodes ago? I don't remember anything. No, me neither. But that, I do remember that. That was a good one. People really got on board with that. Um, mailbag. <laughs> Each week on the show, if you send us something, we will open it. You can send it to the Unicorn Circuit, Marty and Moog, PO Box 475, Sydney Markets, New South Wales, 2129. This one here has come from Stephen Bennett from Camberwell. I don't know what he sent us, but let's have a little look inside, Martin. You can take oh, that. Yeah. I'll take the letter. Oh, there's two. <coughs> Dear Marty and Moog, now this says it's from New York. What? I need to cough. <coughs> Sorry, back from that. Dear Marty and Moog, I've been an avid watcher of MCM and the Unicorn Circuit, one of the 37. I wanted to share some of the work that my son Michael has created as a graphic designer and car fanatic. He's created a range of clothing and other things, but in particular a range of hat and croc pins that are caricatures. Ca caricatures, I think that is. Here are, here are two. A 240Z for Moog, show me. Oh, in here, it says my name on it. And a Subaru Sandbar for Marty, each one uh, in the set is on a unique background card and he also which he has also designed and printed. Of course I'm a proud dad, as you should be. Warm regards, Stephen Bennett, proud look at Dude, that. You and Stephen Bennett, Stephen Bennett, are a good dad. That's a mad thing to do. Your kid did a cool thing, and by kid him probably an adult, but like you did a cool thing. Look at that. And you fully, fully promote it. That is amazing. Now, I do Mad think dad. there is an Instagram here, which is Instagram forward slash ink, dot, ink boy. dot boy, or also www.tofurun.shop. Uh, and look at this. Love it's it. It's got a That's mad sick. little um, little bottle opener as well. Love it. Thank you very much for sending that. We love yep. seeing things Custom that stuff. you have made yourself, mm -hmm. uh, and Favourite. we want to celebrate it. So thank you very much. Tofu Run by Ink Boy, Stephen Bennett, proud dad. Thank you for sending it in. Absolutely amazing. That's sick. We're going to keep those. And now sick. let's dive straight into Random Eat Bag. <laughs> it's been a huge show. Massive. Thank you very much Probably for joining small. us. As always, Probably small thank you to the Donut to. Boys for coming down. Don't open that yet. I'm not looking at that yet. Uh, just a quick reminder again if you do want to support the show, Please check out MightyCarMods.com. There's a shop on there. What show? Uh, MightyCarMods.com. Oh, show. Yes. Yeah, uh, and um, and if you grab something, we will include a mystery gift. It could be a limited edition signed item that you can't get anywhere else. Uh, it could be the uh, Ryobi tool. It could be a super cheap auto tool. It could be something from Quadlock, or it could be some Mad Mighty Car Mods merchandise. It really helps us. It makes a difference. Thank you very this much. This is Ray to Meat Bag. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ray to Meat Bag, man. Are you going to eat what's in today's bag? No, because I, I know because of how. Sketchy, you're being about this, that I'll hate it. I'm not being sketchy. You are, you've been sketchy about it. I'm not being it. sketchy, sketchy at all. face on. I don't have sketchy face. You don't sketchy face. Um, Martin, why don't you eat it? Because I know it's going to be like seaweed or something gross. What do you mean? Because you wouldn't do that unless it was gross. No, quick, You'd open just... it up then. Why would I put seaweed in there? Yeah. Anyway. All right. Do, today's do, how the well day. do I actually know you? Today's the day, Martin. How... Today's the day we just get this done. Remember how well the do day... I know you? Very well, Martin. Do you know what's on my list of things I am not to eat at the very top? Who told you that? I'm not supposed to Who, eat that. A doctor told you that? Yes. Who are you going to believe? Your doctor or your best mate? Well, that's it. I'm going to believe the YouTube comments, right? That's right. And all the videos So, man, let's just get it done so once and for all. So, let's look up seaweed and then look up the uh. one, lots of reasons. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Remember that time you ate an oyster? Do you remember that not time? not supposed to eat that either. I know, but I was so impressed that you ate that. And then but remember why does that, that have to impress you? Why can't I impress you just by being here? No, not good enough. No. And remember the time, Martin, remember the time you had a glass of wine? Yeah. Martin? Do people just eat sheets of seaweed? Is that what this is? Hey, Martin. Can I sniff it? Hey, Martin. Thank you, Martin. Martin is going to eat the whole thing. No. Do you know why? <laughs> Do you know why? Watch this. You're about to see something incredible. Because I saved it to the end to tell you this. Today... Oh. Today's my birthday. I turned 45 today. And as a gift to me, and the only gift I need from Martin, 
Okay. He's eating the whole just, piece of seaweed. I just ate the corner, man. Because it's my birthday. Involuntarily, like... Because it's my birthday. Why don't you eat my one for your birthday? And see? I tried it. You find it. a mate like Martin. I tried it, and then you eat my one. Happy birthday. Here's your seaweed have, cake. Have half of it. I did! For my birthday. No, I ate a bit. Here you go. No, I ate a bit. This much and I'll be happy. No. Nah. Would you eat some seaweed for your best mate? <sighs> oh. I know he would. I know but you I did will. eat a bit. I know, just half of that. My it, stomach rejected it. My half body of that. rejected it. Half of that, we're wasting. Yes! <coughs> 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 <Sorry>. <coughs> Second.